What is happening guys? Mobros here and today I'm going to show you guys how to make an auto item dispenser. Okay, now those of you that watch my videos regularly will have seen my latest tutorial um, about the item elevator that you can see in the background here, but what I didn't show you in that tutorial is how the items are actually put into that screen. Now if you come over here, you can see this little simple, quite cheap to build contraption. Um, very, very simple, but very, very effective in this case. And this is essentially what I'm going to show you guys how to build today. Okay, now one thing to note before we start this, um, this right here is a dropper, okay? The reason this is a dropper is because I quite commonly use this as a sort of collection system for um, drops made by mob farms. So say I've got like a skeleton spawner and I'm collecting all of the bones and the arrows. If that is a dispenser, it will fire the arrows. It, they will not be dropped as items that you can pick up. They will be fired straight down. Um, this can be used to your advantage. Say you wanted to get rid of the arrows, siphon, you know, like separate them from the bones. By all means, place a dispenser here. But just note that any item that can be fired will be fired from a dispenser using this circuit. Um, so yeah, dropper only if you want this to work as a collection system for all items. Um, by all means, use it as a dispenser if you want it to fire items. Okay, so step one of this build, guys, is you're going to want to find your water source block or block that you would like your items to be dropped down into. Um, in this case, um, that is this water source block here. Um, and you're going to want your dropper facing directly downwards into that. Now, some people build their dropper in sort of like that position, dropping items down. Um, I don't like to do that unless I'm encasing it in like, you know, glass around here just because I'm scared that items will drop out and despawn. Um, what I generally do is I sacrifice this packed ice block here. I'll place a block there, which can actually stay there. Um, and I drop down, and then I'll actually place my downwards facing dropper from under the water. Um, alternatively, you could um, get rid of the water source block if you're playing in survival. It's probably a bit easier. Save a lot of messing around. Um, them two actually stay there for the rest of this build. That right there is the end of phase one. Okay guys, now for stage two, what you're going to want to do is you want to find a 3x3 three three, um, square, starting with this block right here. Um, just to make this easier to follow, I am going to light up the area with sea lanterns. Um, right there, there. Let's this area. Now, what you want to do is you want to start here and you want to knock out one, two, three. Don't worry about the water flowing in, that'll be set once you place these blocks. Obviously, you don't need to knock these blocks out. This is just so that you guys can see the area that I'm working in. So, that is a three by three square behind the dropper. So, like this. So, once you have this area marked out, you are then ready to start with the fun stuff the redstone. Stay tuned for stage three. Okay, for stage three, what you're going to want to do is you're going to, get a, going to want to get up on top of your dropper, your downwards facing dropper, and look towards the um, three by three square that you've worked out. Um, you're going to want to place your comparator right here, and you're going to want to set that to subtract mode straight away. You're going to go to the next block out from there, and you're going to place a repeater on one tick. That's facing that way. Um, and then for the final placement of any of these sort of contraptions, you're going to want to come here. Um, and facing into that block next to the dropper, you're going to want one more repeater set to one tick. And then it's just as simple as filling out this with redstone. And that, believe it or not, guys, is the redstone side of this complete. Okay, guys, for this next phase, you're just going to want to crouch place a hopper into the top get yourself a chest and place it on top. Um, one thing to note here is that 
if you have a single chest up there, only place a single chest up here. Because if you have a double chest like that, and you fill it, and it all gets drained and pushed up into there, it'll only collect the first chest's worth of stuff, and then it'll be destroyed. So if you're going to place a double chest there, then place a double chest there. It's common sense, really, but some people do overlook that. Okay, just one thing to note. And believe it or not, guys, that is actually this build finished. In its entirety, that is it. So, as you can see now, let's just get some cool items. What can we get? Let's get some diamonds and some emeralds and place them in here. Now, they get dropped down into this. The comparator then reads that there is an item inside here. Center for redstone signal, which is then used to power this dropper. As you can see, the items are flowing into the water stream, up through the item elevator, and then being collected inside this chest. Happy days. Now, I personally use this for um, mining and mob farms, just to transport my items up into a storage system near the surface. So when you get down into your mine, build this with whatever redstone you find and iron, and get your glass all the way up to the top. And then you're ready to go. You don't ever have to come out of your mind to like get rid of your items in your inventory. Sorry about that noise. I'm going to move away from it. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty awesome. Once once you've got something like that set up, it it speeds things up dramatically at your base. Um, I have been using this now for quite a while. I'm not actually sure which YouTuber I saw this on. I'm pretty certain it was Skippy Six Gaming. So be sure to check his channel out. Shout out to him. His tutorials for PlayStation are fantastic. Um, he he makes some big, huge builds, big farms, um, just just enormous, enormous out of this world. Um, he's got quite a big following of people that help him out with his tutorials. So please, please, please check him out. Absolutely awesome. Um, I think that's it for this build, guys. In fact, bear with me. I'm just going to build. Um, another contraption that uses this exact same redstone circuit but it can actually be used as a sort of I don't know base defense or trap I don't really know but uh, bear with me give me one sec BRB okay so here guys what I've essentially built is exactly the same design redstone wise um, you still got your block and your hopper only instead of a downward facing dropper we have a front facing dispenser um, this is just to sort of emphasize to you the difference between the droppers and the dispensers in this case. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to throw some sheep down here. These are my victims. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to place a ton of items in here that can't be thrown. Uh, fired, sorry. And a ton of items in here that can Okay, so we've got bones and arrows. Say this this is like textbook um, skeleton farm drops. So if you've got yourself a skeleton spawner, this is the sort of stuff you get dropped. And just to show you the difference between what happens when um, arrows go through and bones go through. Here it goes. So these are the bones coming out now. As you can see, they're just being fired down the water stream and collected at the bottom. Um, Shortly we'll have <laughs> what happens when arrows get sent down. There we go. <laughs> um, they get fired. So these items will not flow through the water and be picked up by, say, a hopper at the bottom. Um, these will just be dropped. Well, fired and then despawned. So if you want to separate your arrows from your bones, say so you're not interested in arrows, you just want to collect the other drops, use a dispenser. This can also be used as some sort of base protection system. However, be warned that there's, there's no like sort of, well you can make a sort of on off switch for this but that's for a different tutorial. Um, whatever items you place in there will come out of there almost immediately. Um, so don't think this is going to be some sort of thing that will only fire when there are enemies nearby. Um, it it'll be good to have on the walls of maybe a castle if you're going to use something like this but for for the purpose of this tutorial, I just wanted to show you how to get all of your items up an elevator and into your storage. Um, and this is essentially it. So, downward facing dropper, not dispenser. Um, that'll make sure all your items are dropped, not fired. <laughs> um, that is pretty much all I wanted to do for this tutorial, guys. So, I'm going to go ahead and get myself up here and let you guys 
pause this, maybe, if you're getting a bit confused. Um, so just pause it on this screen and just basically build what you see. That'll be it. Just make sure that's downward facing. Always downward facing and a dropper. Can't emphasize that enough. That comparator needs to be in subtract mode, so the light on. Both these um, repeaters need to be on one tick and the rest is just redstone. And that is you sorted. So, <laughs> evil contraption. Peaceful dispenser. Well, dropper. Dropper. Dropper, not dispenser. Oh god, don't don't say dispenser. Confuse people. Um I hope this tutorial has been helpful, guys. Um sorry if it's a bit higgledy piggledy. I'm still getting used to the layout of my tutorial videos. As you can see, this is one of my earlier videos. Um they will get better and they will get more fluid and the layout will be fantastic. But until next time guys. I will see you in a bit. <laughs> Bye!